Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 35 of the Pokemon Cup Series. Today we're here at Richmond Raceway for the running of the Federated Auto Parts 400. Our second playoff race of Season 35 takes us here to the new Richmond Raceway. And yes, it is the new up-to-date Richmond Raceway. So I gotta give a shout out to um, Robert Panko on Facebook for um, giving me the link to where I found the Richmond 2018 track, this new version of Richmond. Um, you may have seen it be run in the national race earlier and now we're gonna give it a try with the Cup Series mod. So I uh, gotta give a shout out to Robert Panko again for providing me the link to the site I should say to where I got this track. I do not remember the site name but um, if you, uh, if you ask in the comments below, I'll let you know and I'll find out uh, where I got this from. So, But i got to give a shout out to him for um, finding the track, um, the site, and sharing it. So anyway, thanks to him. And this is, yeah, this is Richmond Raceway. We can finally call it that because it has the red and white stripes that they reinserted into the track. And it's, of course, back to being a night race. So can't wait to see how the cups are the cup drivers are going to be able to run here at this new and improved richmond so anyway here's your starting lineup as you can see colin francis starts on the pole for tonight's race and on his outside will be zachary delello in the 12. row two we have sharona evans and ryan butcher who i mentioned last race moved over from the seven to the eight for the playoffs row three is billy bishop and cassandra kirker Row 4 with Austin Stitzel and James Richardson. And row 5, John Andrews, Zach Fitzwater. The 6th row with Alexander Rowe and Brianna Russell. 7th row, Josh Drake and Christian Vargas. The 8th row with Anthony Lopez and Chandler Caudell. And the last row with playoff drivers is Roger Ray and Donovan Duthit. Let's look at our winner from last weekend. And that was the 15 of Nick Salmon. Uh, he pulled off a shocking upset at Indianapolis for his first career cup win and he'll start 33rd here in tonight's race. Will we have another upset tonight or will we see a driver lock his or her spot into round two of the playoffs? You're about to find out at right after we give the command to fire up the engines. Here we go, pace card down as 40 laps will be run here at Richmond. Ten, two 10 lap stages and a 20 lap final stage. Here we go, green flag in the Federated 400 at Richmond Raceway. Look at this, three wine of Shrona Evans trying to thread the needle. The Lolo up high. But Sharona Evans leads the first lap. How about that? 78 in front. Let's see if the 8 car can make a move right here, right now. Oh, look at that one trying to fight back up high. And we got a crash. Marcus Sachi, I believe, just went around. They'll race back to the line. And the 78's got the lead. Yeah, I saw Sachi spin in turn two. Let's see what happened on the replay. Yep, he got hit by Donovan Duthit and the 42 of Chandler Caudill, and it caused a pileup. There you see the 42 was hit, the 20 was hit, so was the 18, and 23, 95. <laughs> a lot of numbers hit. And, ooh, Benjamin Miles was hit. Yeah, Benjamin Miles was hit too. So, all right. I don't know if there were any playoff drivers involved in that wreck, but... What do we start off Richmond? No drivers on pit stops. A little too early for pit stops, but I was just checking just to be sure because they sometimes pit a little early, sometimes later. So I was just checking to be sure. Anyway, we're back to the race. Three laps to go in stage one. They'll continue racing even at the end of the stage. Green flag back out at Richmond Raceway with Sharon Evans at front uh, in front. It's 
Tia Butcher will try to pass her. And Evans able to stay on the high line and yet somehow made it work. A little tougher to pass here at Richmond than the other one before, but so far, a little bit less wrecking. We had one wreck earlier, but other than that, a little less wrecking. Oh wow, 13 is on his side. I don't know if he even made it to Pit Road. No, he did not. Wow, he hit the tire barrier. We stay green. Kind of weird, but his night just continues to get worse. Wow. One more lap in stage one. Looks like Evans might be able to get the stage, the playoff point, and 10 bonus points. It'll definitely help her out. To advance to the next round if she does not win this race. Stitzel and Kirker battle for position and Kirker still trying to find up high as the four still not trying still not giving up and the 78 just took the playoff point 10 bonus points as well to go along with it. Evans and Butcher still battling for, for the lead while Austin Stitzel still battling with Cassandra Kirker. Better run up high for Kirker in that start finish line, but the four car stays with her. And able to get and able to try to still battle. Four car is gonna try again down low. Gonna have to stick it as much as he can. This time able to get by on the four car. Just barely. Now he's going to try to clear that 31. Still not quite there. That 31 had a fight in the high line. That four car finally clears the 31. Took a while, but was able to do it. Now Kirker wants to fight back. How about that? This is for sixth place, I might add. But the four is going to get the better run up high. Oh boy. It's been all about Sharon Evans here in this race. And Francis DeLello battling for third place now. Francis started on the pole, but then Evans got the better jump on that restart and was able to pull ahead and take the lead. Looks like Richardson's going to try to fight back against the two. Is that two going to get the better run up high though? Not quite. Not really a good run up high. Not as good as he wanted it. So the six car going to try to take advantage. The two got the better run in that turn one and two somehow. Richardson still fighting. Oh, and Russell is joining in. Ooh, a little contact. A little bit of contact there. And the six took the position. Two car, look at that run up high, man. He's fighting. He's really fighting up high. There you see the 10 car still desperate to fight back. And we got a battle for third place right here. Delello and Francis still trying to hang on. Delello still going to try again up high. Hard run down low. Still a little bit over Francis. Delello gonna try again. Still really, really smooth here. Still trying to make that move work to third place. And Delello gets third, finally. The passes take a little longer than before at Richmond. But they can work, just as long as you got a lot of horsepower. Cool. Anyway, gonna reach the halfway point, the end of stage two, and Evans got herself another playoff point. Another 10 points to go along with it. It's been all about the 78. It would be her second one of the season if she gets it, but there's some lap traffic ahead of her. Benjamin Miles and Derek Hamill, how will this affect her? If there's a caution though, the traffic would be clear. She'd have clean air for the rest of the way. 
but so far we've only had one of those cautions come out catching up to the lap traffic might be a little difficult to pass these guys I don't know Evans is gonna try and she's gonna get by the 14 easily put him a lap down that's miles 78 let's see if the 8 car can get by that 14 it looks like he will gained a little bit on the 78 too by the way thanks to the slower cars affecting the air Evans is now now her eyes are set on the 23 <coughs> 42 would be the next car in line Sixteen laps remain at Richmond, and the 78 is going to try to get that 23 car. Butcher is going to try to go on that low line to get as much run as possible to try to catch that 78 car. Coming to 15 laps to go. Evans cleared. Short Evans clears, gets the clearance. 15 laps remain and now Ryan Butcher is going to have to pass that 23 to get cleaner over the 78 and he will 14 laps to go and Butcher is trying to close in everything he's got in that 78 car I don't know if they'll catch up to the 42 in time well, looks like the 8 car got a better run on that corner He's gonna might have to try something desperate here. Hope that a caution does not come out as he's trying to close in on Evans. A little bit slowly. We'll see though if he'll be trying. He'll try to catch up. That 42 is a little faster than the other cars. Might be Butcher's chance to try to close in on that 78 if the caution does not come out and Evans goes low. Evans is on the low line and she gets by the 42 easily so she was able to reach the 42 was able to put him a lap down let's see if Butcher will try to do it oh man low line is stuck but he's still gonna try that low line anyway trying anything desperate to gain ground on the 78 and he does Evan Hunter is the next one in line, but I don't know. Looks really long. With 10 laps to go, though, anything can happen. 10 to go. There's Ryan Butcher trying to close in on that 78. Trying to get any run he could possibly get, any draft he can get. Anything clean air he could possibly try to use to um, close in on that 78 car who's been dominant all race long. Ever since taking the lead on the first lap, it's been all about the 78 here tonight's race. Trying to win for the second time this season as Furniture Row is going is will not be returning after this season, so he she would she wants to get she wants to go out on top basically and um, give team at least one more win before they close their doors eight to go it's all about those two battling for the win now but Jerome Evans a little, nearly a second lead over the eight you never know what happens though in the final seven we've seen crazy things happen this has been the cleanest race we've ever run here at Richmond Hands down. I'm sure it's gonna get better as we um as for as we try to make improvements to make the racing better next season. Six to go. Just six more laps around for Sharona Evans, and I'm not sure if she's gonna catch Evan Hunter. Really close though, but I'm not sure. She's been doing pretty well with the lap traffic though. Five more laps. We could still get overtime if a caution comes out at this point. 
there's still the possibility, and we know what happened on that very first lap might happen again. Four laps to go at Richmond, and Evans has caught up with the 37, and now Butcher on pit road. How will this factor in the lead? Evans are going to get by Hunter, but is it going to really matter if she comes to pit road? Is Evans going to pit? Looks like she will come to pit. Wow, I never expected this to happen the final couple laps. We're going to have some drivers to, that we're going to have drivers gambling now. 3 laps to go at Richmond and Colin Francis is the leader. Who would have thought we've had pit stops this late in the game? Still three to go. We could still get overtime. France says he's not going to make it. And he'll come down. The leader is going to be... I'm not sure who. Um, I think the leader is going to be... Roger Ray. Francis took the line with two to go as the leader, but Ray, I think, is the leader. I don't know. Driver's coming off pit road. Who knows who's going to be the leader? Who's going to take the white flag? Car's coming off pit road, coming to the white flag. I think Ray's the leader. Here we go, white flag. And it's going to be Roger Ray. And I think Lopez is a lapped car, so that's it for him. Final corner. Does Ray have enough gas? To the line. Final turn. Roger Ray's going to have enough gas, and he's going to shock everybody by winning at Richmond. And he'll make it to round two. What just happened? I thought that Sharon Evans was going to win this thing, but then the pit stops came extremely late. And Roger Ray gambled and took home the win. Unbelievable. Wow. Roger Ray wins and moves on to round two. I never expected that would happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Late pit stops decided this race. I'm stunned. I'm shocked. I, I know none of you were expecting a finish like this. Wow. Roger Ray wins it and he saves field to win the race. Are you kidding me? And Evans came home second. All because Roger Ray gambled. He felt he had nothing to lose. If he won the race he'd make it to round two. And he gambled and it paid off. Roger Ray is your winner at Richmond. Roger Ray wins at Richmond. How fitting is that? <laughs> Wow. Unreal. I mean, oh my gosh. Wow. Roger Ray takes the win at Richmond on fuel strategy. I'm, I'm stunned. That's shocking. I thought that Sharona Evans was going to win this thing, but I never thought pit stops would come very late. Wow. At least we got a really a real shocker of an ending here at, at uh, Richmond. Some of you might, find, might have found the race boring. And um, Roger Ray wins at Richmond. Wow. I'm stunned. That's just a stunning win. That's amazing. Guess what? It's it's his seventh career win for Roger Ray. And guess and that's also his third win of season thirty five. So he's a three time winner now in season thirty five. He won at Daytona and Pocono and now he's won Richmond. So he now has as many wins as the champion from last season, Colin Francis. How interesting is that? So could that be a sign Roger Ray could be a champion? We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this um, unusual race here at Richmond. And we'll see you guys next weekend as round one will come to an end at Gravis City Zone 11. You don't want to miss the end of round one. So until then, we will see you guys next time at Gravis City Zone 11, which will decide which drivers will survive into the next round.